Before integrating this expression using partial fractions, we have to note that the degree of the numerator, which is basically the highest power of x in the numerator, is greater than the degree of the denominator. So when you see that situation in which the highest power of the numerator is larger than the highest power in the denominator, the first thing you actually need to do is long division. And that's going to have to occur before we even think about partial fractions. So we have to take our numerator x cubed plus 4 and then divide that by our denominator x squared plus 4. And the way to do this is to take the first term and divide it by the first term within each expression. So in other words, you're going to do x cubed divided by x squared, which of course is just x. So you'll write x here. And then if we recall how to long divide polynomials, you'll just turn around and multiply. So you'll have x cubed plus 4x. And then finally, you have to subtract. Now x cubed minus x cubed will go to 0. Be careful here. We actually don't have an x term here. Some people prefer to actually insert a 0x in here. And then 0x minus 4x is negative 4x. And then 4 minus, we'll put a 0 here, is a positive 4. So you're left with negative 4x plus 4. That's your remainder. So what does this mean? It means that the expression x cubed plus 4 divided by x squared plus 4 equals your quotient, which is x plus the remainder of negative 4x plus 4 over the divisor, which is x squared plus 4. So that does complete the simplification or the long division. We can actually perhaps factor out this negative sign. So that would give us x minus, and then when you factor out that negative, you're going to switch the sign to a plus 4x, and then this sign also switches to a minus 4, like that. So that's just a slightly nicer looking expression. We can actually break that down even further, because we'll have x minus, and you're going to basically split the numerator. So you'll have 4x over the x squared plus 4, and then minus 4 also over the x squared plus 4. Now what we need to do is remember that we are integrating. So basically, we'll just reinsert the integration symbol here. And we have three separate terms we need to integrate. This one's very easy. This one we can do a u sub. And then this one turns out to be an arc tangent. So let's just go through each one of those three. The first one, like I said, is easy. You just use the simple power rule. So you get x to the power of 2 over 2 minus. Now, the second one we'll have to use a u sub. So we'll let u equal the denominator of x squared plus 4. We'll differentiate both sides with respect to x. So du will equal 2x dx. And then we'll solve for dx. So divide both sides by 2x. And that will give you your dx. Then we go back and resubstitute. So we'll have the integral of 4x over our u since u was the denominator, x squared plus 4, times dx, which is now du over 2x. What's nice here is the x's will cancel each other out. And then you have 4 divided by 2, which of course is 2, and that can be factored out. So you'll basically have 2 times the integral of 1 over u du. Notice the u is in the denominator, so that's why we're saying 1 over u. And then you integrate, and you get 2 times the natural log of the absolute value of u. And then you just go back and reinsert what you had substituted for u. We had let u equal the x squared plus 4. So that completes the second integral. We can put that in right here. And then the third integral, as noted, is going to be an arc tangent. So let's explore that one. We might want to just rewrite it just to sort of clarify it a little bit. We have uh, the integral of 4 over x squared plus 4 dx. And we could factor the 4 out, perhaps. We have 4 over, or 4 multiplied by 1 over x squared plus 4 dx. Now, many of us have learned in an earlier section that when you are integrating the expression 1 over x squared plus a squared with respect to x, then that's going to equal 1 over a arc tangent of x over a. 
So if you look at our expression carefully, we had a four down there in the denominator. We can rewrite that four as just two squared. And by doing that, we can see that our value of a is just two. So remember, a is just a constant here. Our value is two. So in other words, our integral becomes four times one over two arc tangent of x over two. And then four times that half can just become two. So now you have two arctan of x over two. So that would complete the third integral. We can put that back into where we had our problem going. Notice, by the way, this is a little tricky. Notice that if we put this minus sign through into the parentheses, then that integral becomes minus, which we have right here. But then this negative distributed to that negative would become a plus. So at the very end here, you're gonna have a plus sign. So why don't we carry this down, getting a little crowded over there. So in other words, at the very end here, you can put a plus two arctan of x over two. Include your constant of integration. These parentheses, I suppose, are not needed, so we can drop those. And then this becomes the answer to the question.